Greetings everyone, what you see here is uh, one part of the battery for the electric vehicle full battery consists of three of these modules this one has 121 volts you can see these batteries are sandwiched between so since we make a good purchase for this, we will use this battery on part model for the our solar system. You can see how it looks. We will have to remove remove all these screws drill here to remove this metal frame so we can separate this. So after we separate we will join them together as much as we need but the maximum will be 48 volts so we can duplicate the amps it will hold very long and of course after we put them together I will order some battery controller that we will, we will put here but first we will have to separate all this So we have drilled everything and this can be easily removed from the batteries. And here are these batteries. Now we need to unscrew these bolts and then remove this plastic. And these are the terminals of the battery pack, each one. You can see we'll just take this out and then we will cut each wire and separate each model out of it we will see how this will go So we have finally reached the batteries, they are inside, on each side is one battery and here they are all connected positive and negative together, these are just, I don't know what it is, but it is connected to the battery on the back, maybe for the to control the temperature of the battery but the main part is now I got 16 parts when I measure the voltage 7 of these is enough for a 48 volt system so I will take 7 of these and 7 of these join together to increase the amperage and the voltage will be around 45 to 48 volts and the two of this battery I will use for something else so I have to watch where I will disconnect this joint here on the 45 to 48 volts where it is and then we will have two packs 
of seven batteries joined together to make 100 over 110 amps and 48 volts so I already separate a few pieces at first I thought for 48 volts I will need seven of these batteries but it turned out after I separate here only six is needed so I'll show you now the battery state before charging I got that connection, but we will do it. Three point seven nine, three point eight. This is before charging. I told you I already separate uh, seven of these batteries and here you can see I put them here. And it has been charging three hours already, and the voltage is 49.5 volts. Using this electric scooter battery charger, 48 volts. I don't know if it is two or four amps. So, the voltage across the six, let me put it here, here is the negative terminal, let me see, One, two, three, six. Let me put it this way, you will see the voltage here, it is a little bit tricky because I don't have a free hand, but let's see what is the remaining voltage of this system. something with this so let's see it now it is 76.5 volts so you will count the six that I separate one two three four five six here is the voltage before charging it is 45.8 these batteries are not charged and over there you have seen almost 50 volts so it's working very good so I already have over there one set and then I will join with this another one and what it's left is 24 volts four of these are spare very cool it is easy to separate 
these batteries because they are joined here and you just search the voltage that you want system 72 60 48 24 36 uh, whatever you like and then separate them and use the battery that you need battery is pretty big you can see here the thickness of the battery is almost 10 millimeters it is very big almost 50 volts so now I will disconnect the charger and then I will see how much the difference of the almost fully charged uh, battery is and the one that is not charged so here you can see I put this models together there are at the original it was 5 kilowatts one of these as you can see on the start of the video 120 volts I believe so I separate 6 of these makes 48 volts 50 amps lithium ion and another one is here it is the same so I join them together to make 48 volts 100 amps now the guy who sold me this he says never discharge below 3 volts each of these cell and, and when I charge it 4.1 volts will be the <coughs> maximum for this so if we, if we take all these together if we charge it to 4 volts when you join them together it creates 48 volts 50 amps here you can see the charging port Another one is here, and this is the discharge wires. I put them here, this switch, so I can put them on and off. So this is another switch I can disconnect if uh, one of the battery is charged more because I don't have BMS it will control each cell to be charged the same voltage I ordered one and then I will connect to these small pins you have seen here so the problem is still the charger in the meantime, I use this for my electric scooter, 48 volts, it works quite nice, it doesn't put too much of the amperage and it will charge over day, so I join two of these connection ports on one single so I can split and charge it both batteries in the same time with this for now it works quite well so let's measure the voltage Put this 
seven volts for now they're not fully charged but it works very well for now and they hold very long oh. Together I have 16 of these blocks, so I use these 12 and 4 of them has left over. I will build another battery bank, but it will not be the 48 volts. I will see how it will go. But I will do the same way as here, or I will make some changes, I will see. But this box will stay here and I will make some box here in the summer when here the temperature will rise so I can cool it. For now when I charge it they don't heat up because the charging amperage is low or three amps but it works so, this is how I will use it uh, these batteries I still have my repair one still works quite well But nothing can compare to these lithium ion original batteries. So I will keep you updated when the charger arrives, you will see how oh, then everything will go. I will find a way to use it at home because. It is much better to buy these than these batteries. So we will see how it will work. So now this is it. So I just simply when I want to use it or something else, I put it on. Then I have another switch here. I will use it to discharge. And here you can see the voltage of the one battery bank and here is the other. You can see the difference because they are charged without a BMS battery management system. But I will fix it so this will work. So this is it my friends, when I make another battery bank from that 4 blocks, I will show you how it works, thanks for watching and bye.